First, turn the machine on. Power switch is here. When you turn on the spectro photometer, it will go through a number of diagnostics. The program you use on the computer is called Vision Pro. For a wavelength scan, you need to choose this icon here. This says fixed, this says quant, this says rate. This one here, that looks like a bunch of mountains, is scan. Choose that. Unless you know that it's been set up to your liking, you should file open method, application method. It should go here by default, but you want to choose ACR UV scan. So up here at the top of the screen it says window and you want to choose method. This brings up a number of choices. The standard is 200 to 400 nanometers and maybe that's fine for what you're doing but this is where you would adjust it if you wanted to say 240 nanometers as the starting wavelength that's how you do it. You have a starting wavelength, stop wavelength so it will scan between these two wavelengths. These you don't touch. Number of samples here you can set as it says here range is 1 to 999 typically I make this about 8 uh, if I had more samples than that, then I would make it whatever number of samples I have. But 8 is plenty. It allows me to make some mistakes. and allows me to get a, a number of different samples on the same graph in the same batch is what it's called. On the right side, you shouldn't need to change anything. And we are now ready to scan. To take a spectrum, you need what is called a cuvette. This is a semi-micro cuvette. We use these commonly volume is about one milliliter. Right now I have pure ethanol in this cuvette and this will be what I use for a baseline. I'm opening the hatch on the spectrophotometer. Inside there is a cuvette holder here. The light beam travels in this direction so I need the clear faces of the cuvette, clear faces of the cuvette pointed in this direction. I push it all the way to the bottom. Alright, so that is ready now to take a baseline. The baseline command is here. It makes the wiggly line flat. It says baseline zero. It now asks me, have I got the right thing in the machine? Proceed. Down here in the corner, it will scan I set it to scan from 300 to 500 nanometers and it is making all these absorbance values zero so that when I put something into that cuvette in addition to the ethanol we'll be measuring the absorbance of the sample that I add not the ethanol itself not the cuvette itself so this makes all these zero to take a spectrum of a molecule of interest Usually you dilute. So I added five microliters of a fairly concentrated solution to this cuvette. I mix it by inverting. I have a stopper on the top. This is now ready to take a spectrum. So I've placed my cuvette in the machine, same as before. And now I click on this running man. This window will pop up. Name your sample. I'm calling this test. I hit proceed. It is graphing absorbance versus wavelength for the sample that I have in the cuvette. In this case I got twin peaks. Um, sometimes you get one peak, sometimes you get two, sometimes you get 15. It depends on the type of molecule you have and whether you have a pure sample or a mixture. It's now asking me to present sample number two. I don't have one but if you are running multiple samples then you would get to name this one 
and you could call it test 2 for example. Usually you want a much more descriptive name. What is the molecule in the cuvette? So that when you look at it a month from now you'll know that was a spectrum of caffeine or a spectrum of aspirin. Alright, so in this case I'm pressing stop and I'm done. I have a spectrum. When I'm done, I remove the cuvette from the machine. I need to rinse the cuvette thoroughly so that I will get a clean spectrum next time. Since I used ethanol as my solvent here, it is appropriate that I wash the cuvette with ethanol. Wash it at least twice, maybe three times. This is a cuvette washer that look, works in the inverted orientation. It's just got water in it. But that's how that works.